Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake of the One Man Band is back again. Welcome back to Scold. This is the final episode. Now, just so you guys know, I did play this game. I played the final episode with my face cam recording, but the computer and the software that I was using, it didn't record the, the gameplay. So, I'm replaying the last bit here. So, I, I got in here, and I figured out the code, I got gasoline for the chainsaw I was carrying, so now I'm gonna go back to the door where I can cut the wires. So, I do know what's going to happen, but you guys don't, so I'm going to play th it through, and I'm going to show you guys what happens, and then I'll give my, my feedback at the end. So, who is this? I cannot tell you, Aaron. I am God! I have come to punish you for you have sinned! I'm pretty sure God doesn't look like that. <laughs> However, I will not harm your body. You shall suffer by watching how Maria is suffering, and sh for she has also sinned. Why not punish me? Because I'm the one who should be punished. Because of reasons. What does he mean? I don't understand. I do not know, Aaron. This person who calls himself God is a paradox. Then why... Then why didn't you do anything? I cannot do anything. I am only here to guide you. Yeah, this Virgil guy, he's like the worst spirit guide ever. I don't want to hear this excuse anymore. I'll have to take this into my own hands. Alrighty, and then we come into this seventh circle of hell area. So pretty much right here, we need to get into that room, but spikes are blocking our way. So, what we do is we need to go over here, and we see a bunch of naked people in the prisons, because they're, I don't know, deprived of clothes, but these people have clothes. The day of judgment has begun! What? No one can escape it, and no one will ever, and no one will be spared. They lied to us. There's no salvation. Everyone is guilty. I don't understand. You're talking crazy, priest man. We all wait for a grisly death. The black devils are coming. Right. This won't get me anywhere. He's crazy. And then we go into this room. Something straight out of Silent Hill. Yay. It's great. Virgil, is this hell? I don't know, Aaron. Do you think this is what hell looks like? Nothing I can imagine comes closer, except for maybe more fire and brimstone. If you want to believe this is hell, I will not deny you that. And then he just disappears, like a jerk. So what we need to do now, we go in here, pick up a crowbar. I'm serious, like, during my first playthrough of this, uh, I walked around this area for like literally 10 minutes just trying to find out what to do and where to go. But now we go up here and we got to figure out the code and basically the code is the amount of lines that are missing compared to the top picture to the bottom picture. So this one is 4, this one is 1, this one is 5, and this one is 5. And now here we have a crazy decapitating disc of doom thrower that we have to dodge. So up here we break that and push the button. We do this again. It shoots discs at us because, you know, bullets are stupid. Why would you use bullets? That's just retarded. Now here is what really got me when I first started, when I first played through this. Uh, I have to go into a room where I have to use something to get a box open. So I was like, I'll use the crowbar. But no, you're supposed to use a wrench. You're supposed to use a wrench that you get from here. So how is a wrench better than a crowbar? When, I, I'll show you the box and then you'll see what I mean by my insane ramblings. Alrighty, and then we gotta make it past these scurrying rat eyeballs, because what they do is they... They do that! They teleport me back to the beginning. And they can get pretty annoying when you're just trying to get through here. 
And since I was doing just a lot of back and forth thing my first playthrough, I had to come through this area like three times. And I was just like, ugh. And shoot. Just like that. Okay, you see this? This is the box we had to get open. How does a wrench get this open when a crowbar couldn't? I have no idea. So you're supposed to get it open and you get the silver key. Okay, now that we got that, we get teleported back to the beginning. And now the spikes are down and we have the key to open the door. And now we go inside! Yay! And then this freaking room. This room. I was stuck on this room, literally, for like seven minutes. Seven or ten minutes. Just because the freaking traps and the things you gotta get past. And then that disc comes flying around in the middle when you think the middle is safe. Whoa, and then, yeah, that shoots three at you. Ow. Ow. Jeez. And you gotta be careful. Yeah, just like that. And then, boom, we get to the conveyor belt. I had to go through that so many times that I was able to do it this time without dying once. But, you know, Aaron, I have always fulfilled my duties to the greatest satisfaction of the involved parties. But now, it has become very hard for me. What has become very hard, Virgil? Don't answer that question, guys. Do you think life is fair, Aaron? As fair as it could be, I guess. Many times I have had doubts about whether or not I am doing the right thing. Well, are you doing the right thing? Do you know I like to watch comedies? I find positive emotions much more comfortable than negative emotions. Well, that's just a given, don't you think? People like positive emotion over negative emotion because positive emotion makes them feel good. I mean, unless you're one of those crazy socio-sadistic people who likes pain. I don't know. It's all just a game, Aaron. Yes, it is a game. You're breaking the fourth wall, playing the game right now. Have you ever thought about the meaning of your existence? Not really. Well, sorta, but not... <laughs> You're acting weird! Now he's acting weird! He's been acting weird the entire freaking game, being the worthless spirit guy that he is. Maybe so. I wonder whether it is right to do something illegal to show someone that he has done something illegal. Well, technically, you're still doing something illegal. You're showing somebody the wrong that they did by doing the wrong that they did. It's counterintuitive in my eyes. Is that not irrational? Yes, this whole damn world is irrational! Virgil? Do I really know Maria? Now we're asking the right questions. Do I- do you trust your memories? I haven't known for a long time who or what I can trust. You know her. Is she real? Just as real as you are. Well, thanks! That- that, that really narrows it down, doesn't it? Because I honestly don't think that I'm real. I- me as in Aaron. I'm talking as Aaron. In that sense. Oh, Black Devil, hello! You're too late. She is dead. No, that cannot be. Well, there's sort of a bloody, mushy, fleshy thing on the ground. You can see for yourself. She no longer exists, and it's your fault. Oh, you had you witnessed her suffering, she cursed your name in the end for all the things we had done to her. Want to know what face she made in the end? I kept a souvenir. You carved her face off, didn't you? Yeah, he did. <laughs> you sick bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna just punch a devil in the face! Obviously, it didn't work out for you. We know everything about you. What you did, what you think. Are you afraid? Yes, even... we even know your greatest fear. You have no greater fear than becoming fat. Cause that's, you know, a big fear. <laughs> it's a mundane fear, yes. It's almost laughable. It is kinda laughable. Compared to others, what others are afraid of, but it's still your biggest fear. 
Therefore, we will fashion you up and then eat you <laughs> until your body cannot take it anymore. <laughs> With the flesh. Oh, I forgot about this part. Oh, it makes it 43,000 times more idiot gross. Yeah. You will eat it all. I think I'd just sooner bite my own tongue off and drown my, my, in my own blood than do that. I don't like the idea of cannibalism. Not very much. No, so fat. Hey, hey, hey. Open the door. I doubt that desired result occurred, but perhaps the chances are always low. I've seen many become insane, and I've never understood, but now I know. Virgil, please free me from this. Just, just break my neck. It'll be easy. Haven't I suffered enough? I don't even know for what. If this is the life after death, I'd rather not exist at all. Let me rest in peace. That, that is not possible, Aaron. Because you are not dead. Because you are not dead. Yes, in the first when I first played through this area, I actually guessed him actually saying that. And then I was like, "What the heck is this? Where? What is that? What is? What is going on? I don't understand." And now, truth. We get to the truth of the matter. Let us find out what the truth actually is. And this guy, he's just in his control room. I would like to remind you once more that uh, it is illegal to tamper with the program, Judge Williams. Hold your tongue! It's going through no... It's going through no matter what they do. I cannot confirm that. The parameters you change contradict the concept of rehabilitation. Yes, apparently Virgil is some form of AI program. Now it all makes sense! Ha, what a joke. I'm like Emperor Palpatine. This is nothing more than a game to the decadent upper class. The scum get a kick out of watching the inmates suffer. Yeah, because obviously rich people enjoy watching gruesome scenes of people getting just ripped apart and stuff. Did you fools actually think you'd be able... You could re rehabilitate anyone? How many of them have come out of here? Maybe one percent? Maybe even less? The rest you can hardly call human. The only thing that remains of them is mush. Each one of them would have preferred the electric chair. Well, if you're going to throw people into, like, a game that's like The Matrix, in, it's either that or the electric chair, I think I'd rather take the electric chair, because I'd rather not be messed with. So don't tell me what I can't and can do. This bastard deserves it more than anyone else. I will torture him until his brain is nothing more than just a gray mush. Your reasoning is contradictory. I feel that your behavior is no different from any of the inmates. You you commit a crime. This is no concern. This is no concern to me. Because of this bastard, I lost my legs. Can you imagine that? No, not really. But, if you lost your legs, I'm pretty sure you deserved it. Of course not, you're only a piece of machinery. Your behavior is highly irrational. I should simply shut down this metal box. I cannot allow that, Judge Williams. Well, screw you! Because that'll show the, the, the highly advanced AI system that you mean business. You just say, screw you! And then there's electrical tampering. And an explosion! That's always good. Things exploding. And then fires and alarms. Yay! Things are going swimmingly. My sensors have detected several fires in the station. I have immediately enacted emergency measures to protect staff and inmates. So inmates, obviously we're in a prison. A prison that we go into things where it takes stuff messes with our brains. Welcome to freedom, Aaron. Virgil, what am I doing here? Where am I? What do you see when you look up? The plan! 
planet Earth! This cannot be. Is that really the Earth? That it is. You're on a prison on the moon. Now, logic would dictate that the, the Earth would be smaller. Because we're on the moon, the moon is actually quite far away. It wouldn't be that big, is what I'm saying. Then, it was all just a dream? You could call it a kind of daydream, which was controlled by me. Oh, so you were putting me through all those horrendous situations. Great! Yay! I like you, Virgil. Thanks. Do you remember why you're here? Well, obviously I committed a crime. If I'm an inmate in a prison. Unless I'm innocent, like in the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, yes, and then it all finally makes sense when we broke down this guy's door and stuff. Why? Why, you piece of shit. Why did you kill Maria? She was your own wife. Can you prove that? No. No one will believe you. And that bitch deserved it. Enough! You'll pay for this. You, you can't do that. If you'll kill me, then... No, I will not kill you. I'm going to do something much worse. Chop off your legs, of course! I'm the crazy leg chopper! <laughs> and now he's all in a hover wheelchair. At last, how long have I waited for this day? You will not get away from here. I mean, you are in a prison, so there's no possible way you can escape. I, they will destroy you. They will chew your brain and spit it out before your feet. But you... Uh, no, what I dislike? That they don't let me do it myself. You are sick. I should have killed you. Yeah, you really should have. <laughs> yeah, you really should have. You see, I should have wrote this game. I should write everything, because I just know what's going to be said. Now I remember everything. He really did it. That sick bastard. When I When this gets out, he should be imprisoned here himself. That is unlikely, Aaron. The broken out inmates in the fire will probably ir irreparably damage the prison. Yeah, you're right. Where is Williams? I will lead you to him. Alrighty, going after Mr. Williams guy. Gotta take him out. Don't, we can't let the fire kill him. That'd be it. Stop right there. Uh oh. And then shoot the guards by pressing that. Don't get shot yourself. Alrighty, time for a little firefight. Bam! 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 As I said, I've played this before, so I know exactly how to do it. Bam! 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 Ow! Bam! Bam! And now there's just one more. Bam! 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 Yeah! Just blew a hole in his face. Blew a hole in all their faces. So now they are all dead. The situation is get going out of control. The fire is spreading, and one of the prisoners have sections of the prison under their control. Prepare the shuttle. We'll evacuate. Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? <laughs> that's impossible, sir. The shuttle has apparently detached from the anchor. Damn it. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> what about Earth? The communication systems are still interrupted, sir. Then turn off this damned AI. Go off and leave me completely alone, so that I can be killed. Are you afraid of death, Aaron? I don't know anymore. After this nightmare, no, I'm not anymore. Hell can't be worse. I've never thought about death. Waiting for me is neither heaven nor hell. I simply cease to exist. The thought of it scares me. But maybe it's also a kind of justice. I will be like a human being for once. What do you mean you'll be like a human being? As in you'll die? The self-destruct mechanism has been activated. Five minutes remain until the station is destroyed. So, Virgil's gonna blow up the space station. I'm sorry, Aaron. Goodbye. You don't have to apologize. I would have done the same thing in your place. What, blown up the entire station? Goodbye. How, how, do, how would that fix anything, really? You'd kill all the prisoners and all the people who are on it, 
including Aaron, who you've kind of formed a bond with. And now we finally find Judge Williams Palpatine. You. So we meet again, Williams. What? What are you doing? I'd love to put you in one of those, one of these machines, but unfortunately, I don't know how to operate them, and we don't have the time because of the self-destruct mechanism. You must turn off the self-destruct. Now, what makes him think that I can do that? I just got out of the Matrix. Shouldn't he be able to do that? There must be a way. I will make sure that you are pardoned. And I'll give you money. As much as you want. I don't want money. What am I supposed to do with money? It is enough to take your life. <laughs> Blam! End! That is the end of Skulls. Now, I understand that the first playthrough of me going through the game of that part was pro was a lot better. I was a lot more entertaining, and, and there was a lot more mystery, and I was didn't know what was going on, and it was 100% better. But, unfortunately, this came to be, and I had to do it this way. So, let me talk about the game. The game, I found was good in the retrospect if it was a first game like idea and attempt because to me the game it felt very rushed especially the ending the ending was a lot of just cinematic and not really exploration it it did feel a little bit rushed they tried to cram a lot of things in there, and I honestly thought we were gonna go through all seven of the Deadly Sins, instead of like, one or two. But, the end twist there, I think was kinda cool, I did enjoy that, that twist ending that happened. And, um, just to be honest, I thought it would've been better if they fleshed out the characters a little bit more, and just if it was a longer game in general. But this was kind of one of those first RPG games that kind of came out. And hey, thank you for playing and thank you for watching. I did enjoy the game, but I do think that it could have been better. And if this was the creator's first attempt, I think that it was a complete success. And I hope that they learned from creating this game. So that's my thoughts, thoughts on it. I apologize once again that I totally screwed up on this recording so you had to get this version not the original version but don't you worry because the next game that I have lined up it's another RPG type game well RPG maker game type like th this but a little bit more polished it's a little bit more modern it came out a few years ago I know a lot of people on YouTube have already done it but I want to dive into it for myself because I have never seen the end, and, I'm, and I don't know how it ends. A lot, of, a lot of you have suggested it, and a lot of you are probably guessing what I'm going to be playing. So, that's going to be coming out sometime probably next week. And um, just once again, thank you so much for uh, watching Scold, watching me play Scold, because uh, I, I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it. So like and favorite if you've enjoyed, subscribe, of course. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out there in YouTube land. Be a good person. Tip your waitresses. Keep moving forward. And as Jake of the Woman Band, I strive to achieve. I strive to achieve you. <laughs> no, I strive to entertain you in more ways than one. So I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.